Hey everybody, it's me Hetty, and I told y'all before I'm not becoming the Instant Pot Channel, but I use this thing so many times a week. So here it is, Instant Pot ma Baked Baked Potatoes, okay? So I've already washed and scrubbed these potatoes. They're not very big, some of them. I'm using the end of a bag. So at your discretion, you can go up or down on the times, and I'll explain that. So right here, I have my little trivet. I have this nice silicone one that I love. I got a cup of water in here. Then I'm just going to obviously arrange the potatoes all around. I don't do all that stabbing and all that stuff. I hadn't had a problem with it at all. And yes, I'm making the end of a bag, so I'm making more than I would be making for supper. I'll use them in something else the next couple of days. But I didn't want to have four or five tiny little potatoes sitting around when I can throw them in other things. Okay, now, I've told y'all before, these are, I mean, they're baked, like I said, but they're really being steamed, okay? Now, look, this is still warm. I've been cooking other things in this, so if you see a little steam coming up, that's why. All right. Short and sweet. If I don't knock over that water measuring cup. All right. I'm going to put my lid on here. Make sure you're on seal. Right here. And then all you do is this. Kind of short and sweet. Okay, isn't that simple? Natural release, guys. Natural release. Don't do all this after five minutes release. No, no. If you want them done right, leave them alone. Okay? It's going to take about 40 minutes or very close, give or take a few minutes. Depends on the number you're putting in, the size of your potato. The bigger they are, I definitely would go 26 minutes if you want them done and not grainy in the middle um, and of course you're still going to check them but they're going to be done and then I'll give you another tip that you can do afterwards if you so choose all right I'll see you then Alrighty, guys it's been a good while I've been doing I've actually been shooting two other videos okay so the main thing is just wait till your little valve drops here okay and that way you can just take the lid off. Let me move that lid out of the way. And as you can see, I know they're going to be done. Look at that. Beautiful. So they are done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way and I'm going to show you how I like to finish my baked potatoes. Might give you a good little idea. Change up just a little bit. Okay, let me move stuff around. I'll be right back. So I got a potato here and I know it's hot. I'm going to just cut it, pinch it up, and I go in, I like lots of butter on mine, so I put two, I call them king size, whew, that's hot. All right, now, everybody likes sour cream and chives, so I'm going to come in and I do a little dollop of sour cream. But when I don't do shredded cheese, sometimes we do, you name it, we do all kinds, Col Colby Jack, Pepper Jack, just, just cheddar. But sometimes I'll come in and I add just a little, when I'm being lazy, and I come in, I use the jalapeno uh, pimento cheese. Yes, I do. If you don't want to do it, don't. I love pepper on mine. Coming in with some salt. I'm going to finish these are actually my chives look at that I collected all summer and fall last year until they quit growing and then I dehydrated them and chopped them up look at that still enjoying them I got I, I ended up growing so many I had two of these jars we've gone through one for sure and I just love them 
Well, anyway, that is delicious. Would you look at that? That's some good eating, and I'm going to eat it. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Now, if you'll watch the video to the end, I'll give you another tip of things you can do to crisp these potatoes up because, in all effect, they're actually steamed. They're not baked like in an oven, but if your kitchen gets hot when you bake and you got an instant pot, do it this way. You won't go back. Now, I'm going to remove the potatoes. If you're watching right now, I'm going to remove some of the potatoes and I am going to show you what I do. I just did this for y'all. I'm actually going to take some of these potatoes out, use them in a different dish, but I'm going to show you what I do normally to my baked potatoes before we pull them out. Okay, let me change everything back around. And you know, if you make extra like I did, I've got this for a whole nother dish. And I'll show you what I do with leftover baked potatoes. Even when I do them in the oven, I'll use these extra potatoes. I'm going to show you what I do next. Here's your bonus footage if you watched until the end. Okay, you can do what you want to do. You don't have to do this. I do this. I give just a very light spray. We're going to crisp our skins up because cooking them this way, they are done. But if you like a crisp skin, then we're going to do this. So you saw me. I sprayed. I gave a light spray to butter flavored like cooking spray. Not much. Just a little bit. I've changed lids. I've got my air fryer lid on now. If you've got one of these kind, be sure it's on there good. There we go. And then I'll show you the footage where I just turn on air fryer, but you're going to just hit your air fryer button and go seven or eight minutes. Let it be. You, and the good thing about this lid is you can just check them and get them like you like them. Just you can pull that off and keep checking them. And then you'll get your times down pat. Depends on your potatoes. It depends on how many people you're cooking for, if you're making extra, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But these are the basic uh, mechanics of how I do these these days so much especially when it's hot and I don't want to heat my kitchen up okay I'll try to show you that footage okay it just ended I'm going to show you now you know I was going to tell you the cooking spray is totally and 100% up to you. You could also take a little melted butter and just, you know, take a little brush and brush on there. Anyway, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell the difference. I hope you can. They are remarkably different. They've dried out somewhat and they are going to be a lot more crisp. Now, like I said, you can go, I'm ready to end the video, but I'm just saying you can go 10 minutes just until you like it. The good thing about your air fryer lids, you know, you can just take it off, keep checking them till they get to where you want them. Okay, but anyway, yeah, this is a good way to do it, too, if you're a, a big crisp uh, skin fan, okay? And they're not going to be 100% like baked potatoes, but believe me, on a busy weeknight, they'll be good enough, and everybody will be full. And with money the way it is these days, and meat prices and everything else, uh, we've gone to, we probably have potatoes, oh, a minimum eight to ten times a month now so that's just kind of the way it is you can dress it with steamed broccoli just whatever you like I mean just whatever you like you know I've shown y'all bacon bits somewhere around here or maybe I'll add the link to that how I do my bacon bits I'm just out because we had baked potatoes about three or four days ago I meant to do another couple of pounds and I just have not been able to. Didn't have time. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. Love y'all. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you so much for watching. Glad to be back. That's for sure. Bye-bye.